Hi, I'm Lieutenant Jeff Boggs. Today we're going to count down some memorable Franklin cooking fires and give you some takeaways to help you serve up fire safety this holiday season. Cooking is the number one cause of house fires here in Franklin and across the country. Actually, 44% of all fires are due to cooking, so it's no surprise that these fires happen more around the holidays. We're going to give you some quick tips and look at five memorable house fires that were caused from cooking. Number five, August 29th, 2008. A homeowner left squash pan frying on a stove while watching TV in another room. When he returned to the kitchen, he discovered a grease fire. He used a fire extinguisher on the blaze and thought the fire was out, but it was not. Around 30 minutes later, a passerby outside the house saw smoke coming from the eaves and called 911. Flames had spread through the range hood into the attic, significantly damaging the home. Takeaways are, stay in the kitchen while you are frying, grilling, or broiling food. If you leave the kitchen for even a short period of time, turn off the stove. Always keep a lid nearby when you're cooking. If a small grease fire starts in a pan, smother the flames by sliding the lid over the pan. Turn off the burner, do not move the pan. To keep the fire from restarting, Leave the lid on until the pan has cooled. Never discharge a portable fire extinguisher into a grease fire because it will spread the fire. If you have a fire, always call 911, even if you think it's out. Number four, April 17th, 2018. An employee at a Cool Springs restaurant was injured when an aerosol can of cooking spray that was beside the grill exploded. The takeaway is, Keep anything that can catch fire, oven mitts, utensils, food packaging, paper towels, hand towels, curtains, and cans of cooking spray away from your stovetop. Number three, October 17th, 2017. Firefighters responded to a residential fire alarm activation at three in the afternoon. When they arrived at the single family home, they observed heavy smoke. There was no response, so they forced entry. Inside, they found an elderly man asleep in his wheelchair and removed him safely outside. The cause of the smoke was a stovetop cooking fire. The takeaway here is cook only when you are alert, not sleepy or drowsy from medicine or alcohol. Number two, February 23rd, 2006. A grease fire started in the kitchen of a daycare with 92 children and staff inside. An employee moved a pan of flaming grease into the sink. When she submerged it in water, it didn't extinguish the fire, but in fact caused a larger flash fire. This is because the water immediately vaporized, turning into steam, which carried and spread the burning grease particles. Fortunately, the building was equipped with an automatic fire sprinkler system. A single fire sprinkler had activated and extinguished the fire, protecting the occupants and the building, and preventing building damage and interruption of care. Here are the takeaways. Do not move a grease fire. Never pour water on a grease fire. Fire sprinklers save lives and property, not only in commercial properties, but also in single family homes. Ask for sprinklers if you are building or renovating a home. Number one, June 30th, 1999. Our number one most memorable cooking fire is a tragic one. Clarence Edward Pete Caldwell died in his Hill Estates home during a fire that started on the stovetop. He was 60 years old and home alone at the time of the fire. A neighbor called the Franklin Fire Department at 7.55 p.m. Although firefighters arrived in three minutes, sadly, Mr. Caldwell was already dead when they found him and removed him from the residence. Firefighters found a smoke alarm but were unable to determine if it sounded. However, we know that working smoke alarms save lives they cut the risk of dying in a home fire in half. The takeaways here are smoke alarms should be installed and maintained in every home. Install smoke alarms away from the kitchen to prevent nuisance alarms and the temptation to disable them. They should be at least 10 feet from a cooking appliance. Photoelectric type smoke alarms are the best type of alarms to be installed near the kitchen. For more holiday fire safety tips, visit our website franklintn.gov slash fire. Thanks for watching. Have a happy, healthy, and safe holiday season, Franklin.